Hi Pisces, welcome to your December reading. Let's jump right into it and see what messages we can get for you for the month of December. I hope you're all doing well. So, Pisces, if this reading does resonate with you and you do enjoy the channel, then please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. That would really, really help my channel to grow. So, let's have a look here at your overall energies for the month. Okay, we'll take that one. Okay, Pisces, so you got the Wheel of Fortune. How awesome as your overall energy. So big changes are happening in the month of December for you. The wheel is turning, your luck is changing. I can see the dice on her, um, hanging around her neck. I don't know if you can see that there. But basically that just shows me that your luck is changing and good things are coming in for you. This is big changes and big, lucky, happy changes coming in for you. So we're going to uh, clarify all these cards. So let's just get the rest of them. Okay, thank you. All right, so we have two that have popped out here. Oh, how stunning. Okay, so you've got the Empress card as your challenge. And you have got the Sun card coming up as the energy supporting you. So beautiful, beautiful energy so far. Just those three cards together are really positive, really uh, abundant, happy, glowing cards there. All right, let's take those two. That's lovely. So your past energies here are the Hanged Man. And your strengths are the Chariot. I mean, this reading is gorgeous, Pisces, so far. But let's just get all the cards, and we just need one for your future, please. Pisces, future. Thank you. Right, let's have a look at that. Okay, so your future is the Six of Swords. And at the bottom of your deck, let's just have a look at that. You've got the Page of Swords. Okay. Okay, so let's start with the Page of Swords. So this is a... Uh, Quite a restless energy, so some of you might be feeling quite restless in the month of December. Um, I see the King of Pentacles is in reverse, so it may have something to do with your finances. You might be uh, have a little bit of rest, uh, 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 restless energy surrounding your finances. Um, but I'm not seeing anything bad about your finances coming up, but we will confirm. So this is just a very curious uh, energy. You may be learning something new in the month of December, researching stuff on the internet, um, anything like that. Just wanting to learn something new. You might also be an apprentice at something at the moment. Okay, it also has a lot to do with um, messages. So there might be an incoming message for you. All right, and we'll see um, what that's all about here. Okay, so let's start off with the Wheel of Fortune and just do some clarifying there. You might be spending, do you know, it might just be simply you spending a lot of time on the internet. Um, anything like that, communicating, ideas coming to you in the month of December to do with money, perhaps to get your money situation looking better. But anyway, let's have a look at the Wheel of Fortune and see. Okay, so you have the Nine of Cups. All right, so this just looks absolutely fantastic. So your general energies 
for the month of December. I don't think you need to worry about money. I think what's happening here perhaps in the past, or you've had this worry about money, but um, you're getting new ideas and things. But looking at these two cards, you know, I don't see your finances as being a problem. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune is basically turning in your favor and bringing about your heart's desires. So whatever you've been hoping and wishing for, you know, you're going to get it in the month of December. Um, really, I'm just seeing a lot of contentment in December. I'm seeing a lot of happiness. Um, it's really just things are turning around for you. And uh, you're really feeling satisfied and content in the month of December. So absolutely fabulous. A beautiful energy for your overall energy there, Pisces. So the Empress. Why the Empress? The Empress can be a mother figure. Oh, oh. Any female figure in your life that has a sort of, um, you know, motherly type figure in your life. It can also be um, a love interest. Okay, so we've got two cards that have come out here. Okay, so we've got we've got the Fool in reverse and we've got the Star card. Okay. So the Star card is all about healing. The Empress is all about, as I said, it could be, she is the mother of the tarot. So it could be a female figure in your life that is a motherly type figure or a female influence in your life. Um, it could also be, as I said, um, a love interest in your life. The star is all about healing. You know, the Empress, sorry, is also all about abundance. It's huge abundance. Um, this could even be you as the mother. And the star is all about healing. So some of you could be healing mother issues within the month of December. There could have been someone that acted a bit foolishly. Um, but you are now healing whatever issues these were between a female figure um, and yourself. There could be pregnancy for some of you, so be careful of that if that's not something that you're wanting. But I'm seeing a lot of hope and healing. So where there was perhaps a little bit of foolish behavior in the past, um, you are now healing these issues with a female figure. That's how I'm seeing it. And that is your challenge in the month of December to heal those issues. If you are the mother figure, then perhaps you are healing issues with a child. Okay. But there's something where there has been a bit of foolish behavior, a bit of naivety, and uh, <clears throat> that is now all healing. If this isn't a mother figure or a female figure in your life, then this could even have to do with your abundance. All right, um, perhaps. There was something to do with your abundance where there was foolish behavior and now it is all being healed. The star usually comes, well, it doesn't usually, it always comes after the tower in the tarot deck. It's the one, it's the card that comes after the tower. And the tower is all about some form of shocking event. So usually this comes after some form of shocking event has happened. And um, 
I can almost see that in the naivety and the foolishness of the um, fool in reverse here. But I really like this, that you're healing. Any issues, the empress is upright, so anything that needed to be healed with a female figure, perhaps someone older than you, um, or perhaps within a marriage for some of you, these issues are being healed. So even though it's perhaps been a challenge for you, there is healing taking place. There is a huge amount of hope and healing. Um, I'm also just seeing you being vulnerable. You know, there's someone here that's being vulnerable um, and letting down their defenses and uh, showing their vulnerability, which can also then heal, help to heal the situation. All right, so that's going to be different for all of you as to who that is and what that situation is. You're welcome to leave me a comment if you would like to. But I don't see it um, affecting you too much because you have so much contentment and things are changing in your favor. So perhaps this has been a challenge for you in the past. But as I said, it's being healed. And that's the main thing. And straight after that, you have the sun, which is just... Things coming to light, where once you may have been in the dark. Um, a huge happiness, being outside, in the sunshine. Um, massive abundance, also the sun, joy, all that beautiful type of stuff. So, let me clarify... The sun for me, please. And this is the energy that is supporting you. So if you have had any problems in the past, then um, you have got great uh, support with the sun card there. So can you just clarify? Thank you. We'll take both of those. Okay, so you've got the King of Swords in reverse, and you have got the Three of Hearts in reverse. Uh, three of Swords in reverse. So, Swords cards. So, perhaps there was some form of communication that came in in the past um, that was really cold and cutting. You know, it could have been somebody telling lies, somebody just being really harsh in their communicating, you know, without any heart. Let's put it that way. And it really hurt you emotionally. It hurt your heart deeply. Um, but with the sun card up there, whatever, you know, if these were lies, then the truth is going to be shining so brightly on it. Also, I'm just seeing you getting over this with the sun card there. It's just so powerful, the sun card, that it's just overpowering um, this broken heart, uh, whatever this was, with all these swords here. It could have been something physical that happened to you with all these swords here. Um, if that is the case, then you are healing. You know, you've got two healing cards on either side of this, which I really, really like. So whatever the situation was for you guys, that um, was very either harsh communicating or somebody telling lies, somebody being really heartless, you're going to overcome this because this is the energy supporting you and the sun is supporting you and that is just extreme joy. And the sun is one of the best cards to get in the whole of the tarot. So, I mean, you know, the Wheel of Fortune, the Empress, the Sun card, the Nine of Pentacles, there's just the star. There's so many, the chariot is also victory. There's so many positive cards around these cards that I see you overcoming whatever heartache this was. Okay, so perhaps it's something you've been working through and now in the month of December you're free of it. You are totally free of it. You're just happy. You've got your arms in the air, surrender, happiness, Pure, total 
joy and bliss is the sun card. And whatever lies these were, if they were lies, they will be coming to light. Okay. So really, overcoming any of those challenges that you've been through. So why the hanged man, please, for our Piscean Collective? So this is the past energies, Pisces. So this is the Seven of Swords in reverse. So upright, this is somebody that is uh, going and then uh, stealing the swords from the tents here. Um, I think the story goes that it's an army and he is going to steal their swords. Yeah, you can see it better. All right, so it can I indicate theft and that sort of thing. So in the reverse, what I'm seeing here for you is that there has been a conflict um, of some sort that has happened in the past, which we can see. Something that really um, brought you a lot of heartache here. And here you are sacrificing someone as the hanged man or, you know, hanging in limbo, something like that. There was something sneaky that went on in the past. And, you know, some form of conflict, some form of disagreement, something like that. So with it reversed, it means that you, it's time now, basically, to let go of any revenge. This is what you're doing with the hanged man. Don't hold on to revenge. So perhaps in the past you have held on to some form of resentment because of this sneaky behavior um, of someone's that has happened in your past. Um, some form of theft, some form of, um, something underhanded that happened in your past. Could possibly obviously have something to do with this because we've got this one um, with the lies and the terrible communication, harsh communication that's brought you this broken heart. Um, so there has been some form of underhanded behavior from somebody that um, has brought you this heartache. It's left you hanging in limbo. So I see that you've held on to sort of this resentment about the whole thing. But in the month of December, you're going to be letting that go. And we could see that quite clearly with the Sun card. The Hanged Man is there, and I know you are letting it go. You're also moving forward here. You're moving from choppy waters and conflicts and all of that type of thing to calmer waters. So with all these cards here, I'm seeing a lot of healing taking place. I am uh, seeing you letting go of all these resentments. Um, from something that happened in the past that perhaps left you a bit bitter and left you kind of hanging in limbo. All right. So things being exposed here and you letting go of things from the past um, that have hurt you and um, You've obviously spent a lot of time thinking about it, trying to come to some form of enlightenment about it, and now you are letting it all go. Okay, and I see underneath the deck we also have the Nine of Swords. So whatever this was, it was bringing you some sweet, uh, sleepless nights in the past. It was bringing you some sleepless nights and anxiety, nightmares, but you are now letting it go. All right. And changing things for the better. So I really, really like that. That's absolutely beautiful. And then straight after that, you've got the chariot. And the chariot is your strengths. So, you know, in your strengths position. And the chariot is all about victory. 
it's all about gaining control of the dark and the light forces that we have within us and um, having a strong will. So your strength lies in overcoming any of these things with your strong willpower. Okay, reforming situations so that you come out stronger than before. Some of you could be traveling somewhere. Um, I've got the chariot card, movement forward, and the six of swords, movement forward. So there could be travel for a lot of you in the December period. So can you clarify the chariot card for me, please? But it's a huge card of victory, the chariot card. So whatever you've been trying to overcome and work out in your mind here, yeah, whatever's been bringing you heartache, I mean, these are so positive. You are overcoming this. And if you haven't, you know, if you aren't feeling like that at the moment, you will be in the month of December. But, uh, you know, it all depends on your will. You have a strong will and... You need to bring those light and dark forces together. You can t see the white and the black horse in the picture. And you need to be the charioteer directing that. Um, but it's a strong willpower, basically. You know, if you've got a strong willpower, you will come out victorious. You know, the magician has a strong willpower, and that is how he or she manifests in this world. So you really need to master those forces in order to move ahead. And I see you doing that, Pisces, in the month of December, especially with your overall energy being the Nine of Cups. I mean, that's just total wish fulfillment. Things turning around after a time of uh, heartache. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got the hanged man again. So really what this is telling me is that after a period of hanging around, of being in limbo, feeling like you're in limbo, um, feeling like you're perhaps stuck, trying to work out an issue and come to some form of enlightenment within yourself, you are now moving ahead. You're moving forward and you're moving forward quickly. With both those cards here, I mean, the chariot card is powerful, powerful movement with those horses there. And with your strength of will, you are now breaking free of this limbo and you are moving forward. And you are not only moving forward, but you are moving forward victoriously. So this is stunning. This is absolutely stunning. So why the Six of Swords, please, in uh, the future position? So as I said, the Six of Swords is all about moving from troubled waters to calmer waters. So it could be someone literally traveling. Oh, okay. As I said, with both those two cards there. Um, but otherwise, it's just emotionally uh, traveling forward from the Hanged Man and from all these troubles here to calmer waters. All right. So you've got the Four of Swords and you have got the um, Four of Coins. Interesting, two fours, I like that. Four is a very stable number, you know, uh, strong foundations. So for some of you, you're building strong foundations at the moment, all right? And, you know, I'm really just seeing this as moving from, moving away from your troubles you know, so if you aren't literally traveling, you are moving away from your troubles. And this is going to take you um, to a place of rest where you can now heal this heartache. Okay. Um, and also just a time of rest in the near future. So moving away from your troubles, really spending some time in rest, healing. 
So doing leisure activities, uh, beautiful holiday things, you know, not overdoing it, just relaxing, all that type of thing. Um, and then the four of coins here, you know, this can often be called the miser card. It's somebody really holding on. Okay, so what you're doing here is you are now letting go. So there was something that you were holding on very tightly to. It could have even been these troubles that you were going through. But now you are letting go, as I said, with the hangman there. There's something that you're letting go of. So either you're being more generous financially to others, or you are just letting go purely of your troubles, um, not being so closed off, perhaps being open, but also taking the time to heal and rest and do some leisure activities. Okay, so I really like that. Moving forward, moving away from your troubles, um, letting go of these troubles and also taking the time to rest and heal you know whatever that means for you to heal this broken heart of yours that has been in the past um, you know this doesn't have to be a broken heart in a love situation this can be in any situation where somebody has uh, you know either light sorry Pisces my camera cut out there so absolutely beautiful energies for you Pisces for the month of December I mean with an overall energy like this I wouldn't worry about all of this you are resolving it whatever it was you are resolving it and healing from it and you're moving forward victoriously with a huge amount of joy okay issues are being healed and it's just it's a wonderful energy that I'm seeing on the table here so I'm going to leave it there, Pisces, and I wish you all a wonderful month ahead and gorgeous holiday season, and I will see you all again next time. Bye.